Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Big Massive Podcast. Me, your favorite. And the on her over here. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. See the way my singing's not bad. Now you're singing. <laughs> that video the last time. <laughs> oh, with the earphones on? <laughs> Brittle. Nobody sounds good in the earphones. Or, or play it. No, I don't. <laughs> I do. Because... Oh, nah. You were giving it lulty too. Do you know what a mate rang me in? Asked me the other day. Hey, fuck, it was funny. <laughs> I'm not giving his name, but he rang me. He goes, Boy, can you still get porn? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> can you get porn on your internet? I says, What are you talking about, man? He says, I can't get porn. And I rang such and such, and he told me he can't get porn either. He thought his wife was on sort and so on out that it was blocked. He goes, but then I heard things, man, about, you no, know, so young people can't get access to porn so easy. I says, man, no, I can get it no bother. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, while he was talking to me, he turned me the name of the person that's trying to ring him. And this, no, this is a pure hornball. He goes, oh, hold up, no, he'll definitely know. <laughs> Just let, he hung up on me. Away, and then about uh, an hour later, he rang me back. Sorted! <laughs> I just can't don't go through Google. It's just, just stick it in the search bar, man. I man, most most internet providers now black out porn, I think. Duck, duck, go. Fuck, fuck, go. Uh, or you can just put the VPN on your... We don't need to listen to me singing. Oh, no. oh let's hear. Let, let's just... That's not... It. That's me drunk. Got your lips that on your... Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait the co- oh, let, let's hear the chorus. <laughs> I didn't even listen to this. Switchy like, man. That's cringe, man. <laughs> do, do you know what it loves to? All right. All right. Oh, God, this is All right. Do you want to go down that road? Jesus. Do you want Because I've got videos. Oh, my way. What are you doing? Back for good. There's just a random back for good there in the middle. Do you know what it is? You got my new earphones from my birthday. The, do you know why you always say fucking earphones or earphones? Jesus, I am f- iPod All ones. The proper ones. <laughs> so that's what's going on there. I'm immersed in music. Just throwing the odd word in, thinking I'm tall and tuning and everything. Uh, see but I didn't know that that bitch was sitting video of me. See the new update right now. If it doesn't really, it can work. It's good when you're in the gym. So see if you have the headphones and you start to speak, it, it goes down. Does it? Uh, so somebody oh, says some something. technology. Then you must have the fucking podcast. And then if you start to sing. You sing along when it goes down? It goes off. Doesn't right? fucking do it with me here. <laughs> like I was there. Two bottles of red wine on. How did you not see her video, wouldn't you? Huh? You're just immersed. You're just lost in the music, were you? Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to open your ear pod, man. All right. Well, ear pods. Uh. What age are you now, Ron? Why? 47. <laughs> I thought you were like, tell me off. <laughs> <laughs> what age you? <laughs> was what? <laughs> You were like a woman there. No. Can you me fucking out? Oh, I thought you were like, what age you listen to? Fuck, you are getting... Mm. You are getting... Fuck, this is the next one. You shouldn't be... Someone is telling me you look wild oil the last day. Who was it? See, Niall, last day. Fuck, he looks wild oil. Aye. It's not a hater. There's your wife. No, <laughs> you shouldn't be doing that box. Here. You shouldn't be doing that boxing thing either, your age. I know, get us if you're beat by an old 47-year-old man. Hey? <laughs> Wouldn't go down too well. Us. What if he killed a 47 year old man? <laughs> I'll be famous. <laughs> famous Northern Iron comedian. I need kill- to start training him because I see he's battering away at the pads. Famous Northern Iron comedian kills man. <laughs> <laughs> comedian kills unknown comedian. <laughs> comedian, strong word. Why is he unknown? Because he just hide in the forest and train. And he came out just to fight. I tell jokes to fucking animals. Maybe dead. I wish we were, I wish we were a pound behind him. <laughs> or a couple of patrons behind him. I send your patron. <laughs> It'd be worth uh, me dying. You can mm. do a wee sad podcast on your own. Could you not like could you not throw all on? So if you won, you get the bomb squad and the general banter patrons all have to come over. And if he wins, he gets the podcast. <laughs> we do, we're fucking And a million pound. We're a different type of podcast, man. They're fucking slick. Uh, well, they're, they're, it's not slick, they're rich. 
No, but to do something that long, you do get good at it. Like we're at it now. You know what I mean? And every week you just get some more relaxed or something around it. And oh, I listen to them first ones is tight. I would say even the prank one. We thought we were well down the line and experts at that stage. Bad. Fuckery, fuck, fuck, fuck. God, Not a curse in there. Fucking, fucking. Speaking of fucking, what about the what was it, Belfast there last night? Jesus. What's it called? The Devonish? I had a stand-up on there. Yeah, Paddy McDonald does there all the time. I, I did it for He's back pa- here in March. I actually did it for Paddy. Me and Eamon. Jesus Christ, you wouldn't be too happy if them videos came out and your wife was fucking... Like, did you see the one with the fucking... 69 or... Uh, no, but the one with the fucking... The jizz in the hair. Oh, fuck's sake, look. <laughs> fucking... Yeah, don't touch it. The back of your head. Some weapons from flat the Then there's a thing going round the back. There's BJs getting handed out and... I uh, heard that, uh, But then how much of it's fucking... Well, out. sure, there's hard ones everywhere. They're all floppy, like. Do you know what they do? Bumping. Do you I know what they do? That was zooming You out. couldn't fucking miss. What they do is they get a band and uh, they get themselves hired and they get a band and tear mm-hmm. around. And then how do you know? Somebody was on about that. I yeah, you did it yourself to do that. No, 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 no. But still, they're still massive to hear one. I'm going, that's not real, eh? That's not fucking Did real. you see the one of the old doll stand? That's the end of the day. Like, that, what, see them boys there. Like, what's your job? Big dick. Do you know trying to get a mortgage? What's your job? I just have a big Stripper. dick. Massive tool. <laughs> Would you want a massive tool, that big? But if you give her, if you got, you got her to stand on the attention to its full glory, and then you put the the band on it, and then it hangs, it'll look like it's her. It would hurt, wouldn't it? And too big, it would hurt. The big one's hurt. Hurt the throat. <laughs> hurt the whole. <laughs> sort of big of the throat. Uh, but hey, uh, there's a few I comedians that came out with a couple of crackers. I've seen uh, Serena Terry's mommy banter one. And she let her man coming in with a black guy. What happened to you? No, it doesn't matter. And then the phone rings. <laughs> Did you see Mammy? No. She was that fucking thing last night. <laughs> She's all over the internet. And then uh, Paddy Raff, did you hear us? That's a good one. Let's see if we can get it. So fucking thought fucking that, that, that was pick of the day. West Belfast, woman, rough. <laughs> the Devonies are a rough area. Like. There was some mountain waking up. I'd say we hangovers going. <laughs> Doing what is the Got a few selfies and head at home. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to the live pod with Kieran Bartlett, then followed by the live pod, then the Pleasure Boys. Oh, oh they come oh, on. Oh, they we're just slapping faces. We've got them live in the fir trees, the it's, Pleasure Boys. I'll tell you what, the, the, the Trugy, all, all them civil mammies and grannies and aunties. Hey, as soon as they see the tools. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine it was all the way around. Imagine if I was coming out of men all fucking did running you, around. Did you see the photo of the girl sitting holding one and there's uh, one over her shoulder? Don't. No, there's one over uh, her shoulder. It's just like sitting there looking like... It's like a parrot. It's like you're going to chat to It's it. like she's at the zoo, uh, holding a parrot like a and a fucking snake with her neck. You see the old doll looks like somebody from Claddy. <laughs> out on the tool. Uh, did you see the... Did you know that? They're all like... <laughs> isn't a big fucking <laughs> Your man's in the middle. Hey, uh, did you did you see that... You know the page where they call out like guys that are fucking cheating or fucking... Two time and stuff, the black boy and the girls holding the knob like the boy on the left, is there any stories about him? <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't see it. No, no. it's a good one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, I was on Nolan. Nolan was going on about this morning. I'll be a good story last day. Nolan's? 
Noam was on about this morning. I was on several shows about this morning. Aye, but sure, he's some chick. He's no whole animal. Then over to had a your man Bear. Remember, there's a whole court case. He's meant to be sharing pictures. Oh, uh, that's right. All the same stuff. Look at that for a whopper. And then him, the two of them are in their pants in the show or something, too, doing some sort of strip. I know, my man, I was just listening to fucking... Do you know what, just, you know, even when you do that, you know, Steve, Steve, that's an absolute fucking disgrace, you know, like... Somebody blames Sam Fien for the, the strippers in the Devonish. Somebody come on, they don't want to win. Aye, all them lefties and Sinn Féin and all, it's all their fault. <laughs> <laughs> Just hate Sinn Féin that much. Everything's like, oh, you fucking complaining there. They're doing that. It's a bit hard. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, well, I've I, I seen the, the press release today from the company that run them. Like it, Your man was on, talking, and Nolan, I listened to about it. Like. He says it like it, there's no contact, like it's all fucking. <laughs> aye, well. There was people with just their hair Aye, but I think that was all a wee bit exaggerated. What? Like the BJs and stuff, like probably yeah, I added on. But the stat, even see that that post that saying that happened, that could be from anywhere, or anything. Right. Didn't ha- no, they didn't say where it was. No, with everything I seen, all of it, I was just look like f- flapping about and getting slapped in the head. And- ah, well, there's one where right your woman with the legs and you just give it a slap. Aye, aye. Jesus. Aye, well, that's about. That's over. The- that's crossing the line. Like. Aye. You wouldn't want it to be a loved one, like. Jesus Christ. Your ma. your ma, your sister or something, getting the, the ding dong slapped in front of everybody. But they didn't look And like then he was naked, no, so it was a 69 job, like. And they didn't, I, I but it's just like, you know, it's just How do you know? I would say she's trying away. It's just like see. fucking. She's probably <coughs> gargling. But they didn't look like they were hitting it. That's some job they have. Are <laughs> the girls? Aye. No. So you wouldn't get on stage. Yeah. Like the, the, skiing. Playing pool. Salt shakers? They're all... For <laughs> Remember that one? Um, they, they all ran on the stage, apparently, and just went mental. And there was about their friends going on, like. Aye, well, that's what, the, that's what the press release from the, like, the company that runs them by. It's just like, look, they all like stormed the stage. It all got about... They reckon around the UK, nobody cares about it. Aye. You hear nothing. It's old news, like, because that was on... There was documentaries about that, like, 10, 15 years ago. It just didn't come here. We're not ready for it yet. Well, the girls were ready for it. That's the Catholic fucking guilt, West Belfast. They didn't fucking show it last night. Some job, but what's your job? Just to fly over to fucking Belfast and wander about with the two out? Mm. wonder what kind of money you get for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, do you know what it reminded me of? You at a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, I don't have a tool that size, eh? It would have been a few times, I would say, over the years. Uh, oh, you've been uh, that that's how you definitely get that all the time. All the time. <laughs> Fucking hell. Just be fucking... Try Pat, Patty showed me his dagger too when we were in the staff. Do you? That's true. I thought, it, I thought it was a joke. There's a nice little dagger on it. Aye. Uh, Look. <laughs> I don't know if he did the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, if I had a massive uh, at the end anaconda. Of the night, uh, at the end of the night at the... <laughs> At the wedding, when everything's getting stripped off, you just, be, you just be standing, uh, you just be standing at the buffet where you know your knob and the sausages. <laughs> oh, the one Billy Connolly. Oh, which one's the sausages? He puts into the wallet through the the pinky pews. I mean, you want one? Uh-huh. <laughs> Down, you see the week. Oh man, because I love props when I'm drunk. Do you know what I mean? So, wait to see this. And then you'd, <laughs> oh, I like to ever like Skywalker. There be loads of photos of you boys sleeping with just sitting on the shoulder. Ah. Oh, stag news? Just across their eyes. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> no, they have like face masks. Uh, the one time I... Fuck, I nearly fell over laughing, hey. Was, <laughs> we were at a party one time. And one of the mates, who's got a big tool, went over beside another mate. And he was just fucking full. You no, know, and <laughs> he had a skinhead. And he just left. He just put his knob on his head, right? <laughs> but then on something... <laughs> He knew the song wasn't right. And actually turned around. <laughs> and he looked at me and it just... <laughs> oh, just like, hey. he's like, a, like he's wearing a baseball cap? He knew what was going on but didn't want to mention it. <laughs> so he just turned around and looked at me like it. He says, there's a better up. <laughs> and he knew with the weight, girth, <laughs> heat. <laughs> he had a skin head as well, bald head. So it was just, just like, like the end of a horror film. And then a big chase around the room, no one of them, yeah, fucking bastard. <laughs> Tom and Jerry just 
Oh man, I just be at parties, just you know, boys talking at a party, and then just slap across the face. <laughs> what? <laughs> just, oh, you're bordering on sexual harassment. Just uh, <laughs> that's where it's funny, and we're laughing at shit like that because it's funny. <laughs> I've heard a girl standing knocking drinks out of their hand, <laughs> <laughs> smacking people there. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want it to be like a disability, wouldn't it? Are you be arrested? I'll be arrested. Oh. There was kids there, Mr. Cook. Oh, fuck it, do them. Playing bad baseball now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who does that? Steve O hits the baseball. Does he? Uh, something like that. Uh, to be used for more than one thing, then. It's so many things. So many options. I'll be black and blue, yeah. Fuck. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God I didn't have it. Did you have a nice birthday, Ron? What did I get you? I didn't leave oh, the sofa. Leave the sofa. They wanted to go out for Sunday. Nope. No. Why would I? Sorry. <laughs> uh, Fuck, how could you afford a fucking dinner at this time of month? I don't know. So she was asking, I says, we don't have any money, is right? I have moved enough to go out and get to- We're going to go to the golf club and then just change my mind. She says, nah, get to- later on. And I was great doing nothing. I was doing a couple of, I did a gig on Thursday Thursday after we did the pod went up the day into the gig and I had two pints in here didn't I two so by the time I, I was on I was headlining by the time I got on I was well I was like me in a party <laughs> that was like me in a party ones were struggling going up there and then I got up and I went to town it was one of them ones where everything worked everything stick people in the bar get that the whole that it was just because it was half fucking tour. Yeah. I can't even put it down as a gig because I didn't fucking learn anything. <laughs> I just uh, ripped up. But top of the head comedy. What's just my actually friend. ripped about ten jokes, and all the comedians were up before me. They gave me all. We're all standing with the books out, trying stuff out. And then I went up and I says, "Fair play, these for waiting." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like straight away. I says I was the only one fucking laughing by the way at all you comedians now I'm up here so who the fuck's going to laugh no, no. I says Damon you were shite that I laughed at you <laughs> he said looking at me and then I give me notes I says, what's a performance <laughs> I says I'm not even going to look at my notes I'm going to get you to do it Damon and then it was uh, I told him and they call out the next one then at a bullet point and then I was really rough there was even one I knew well the joke I says, did I write anything else along with that? No, no. And then I went on that and then I went, oh, fuck you, brilliant. So it was a good old session. <laughs> then on Friday night, we went to our uh, Prohibition. Then no. the room? No, the room, there wasn't the room. There's no mic. No, but it was like, it looked wild. It was just a picture of you and then there looked like a massive space. It was, um, there's a couple of things that they should have changed me. The windows behind you, I would have closed that down because you can see out this, the, the town hall and all that crack and it's, I can be fucking, do you know what I mean? What are they called? What are they called? Whatever you Distract are. Distracting. Distracting. <laughs> so, uh, you look like you were falling a flight there. I'm trying to fucking think of the word. <laughs> but, um, so you land on them and I was like, um, oh, there's no, I seen the cordless mic first and I went, oh, my heart sank. Every comedian knows you see a cordless mic. It's no. If I'd have had fucking, you know the bag you took of me? Yes. If I had that in the car, we would have to make the bag you give me. Yeah, right. Okay. If I had had that and me, I would have had a make for the show, but I didn't. I said, "Boy, it's going to be somebody close by. He's from here." No, oh, no, it should be grand. I'm like fifty people getting up a cappella, and I had a bit of hangover from the night before, being the mouthpiece and fucking day. Okay. So the hangover got worse. Then when I knew there was no make, and there was the, the MC was up. Do magic tricks and all, but the crowd were decent, eh? And now they will. <laughs> but then I knew, I knew you were falling the Thursday because I was just, you know, you see somebody's on Facebook late on and they're posting happy things. Uh, <laughs> and then I was getting them stuck about the next day. Uh, it, was, it was getting a bit thick on it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think it, he's in a group showing himself up. No. With, potential, with a potential employer, I was thinking. No, no, no. Uh, no. I, I, I. Sure, uh, this that potential time. employer then texts me off of the side going, what kind of wanker is that? <laughs> but he's also a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It's a triangle of wankers. Yeah. Uh, no, them bits. Mm. We did a great event there last Thursday, even on Tommy Cannon was the guest speaker. 
and he was meant to go up after the singers. So I went outside the fir tree to see where he was. I said, yes, boss, where are you at? Just going through new buildings here. <laughs> like, for fuck's sake, Tommy, you're on in four minutes. Just push it back, kid. Push it back. <laughs> he just doesn't care. Right? I was like, going on then. We're doing do the certificates now and do the, 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 move it around for him. Like. But that's your band, man. For you, and just then I stood up on the stage and said, <laughs> can you hear me at the back? Nobody spoke. He said, can you hear me at the back? Nobody spoke. Right, I'll just, I'll just I talk. I said yes. Oh, did they? And then I just... So you were... Con- you would just... <laughs> no, nobody spoke. So was I Straban heavy, but it was a good gig. So I had the, no mic and then the amendment went up and then we just bailed on, but it was, this. once you get started you're alright, but it's just like you're addressing the room. Right. <clears throat> <laughs> and then there's times, see when you're, you use the mic, you know what I'm talking about, filtering and stuff like that there. You, Aye, there's you really nuances there. You can't whisper when you're, so it's all shouting. But I'm loud, aren't I? But they need to sort the mics out and the lights out and stuff like that. Is but it not, a wee, good, is it not a wee bit like work, having they drive, like the Arma? <clears throat> That's you driving, because Eamon can't drive outside Derry. That's why any time anybody sees me in chicken box, I'm half pissed, because it's the only place that Eamon drives. <laughs> and then I get a few in me. I don't mind a few pints and getting up too, it's a bit of crack. Aye. You try all their stuff too. But when um, you were going to Arma on Saturday night, uh, we like, uh, Friday night, we like, <sighs> An hour and a half, and it was sort of hangy. I was going to go to the gym and then just changed my mind when I fucking stood out of bed. <laughs> I was just like, oh. And you know what, sir? I'm at the point now, you know, I've spent so many years driving, we work in football, I see if I have to go anywhere now. I'm like, remember you always used to be like going to Belfast, no big deal. Kind of feels like a big deal now these days. Um, depends what you're going to do. See if you're driving a fire distance to do, like Something. me going down to Dublin to do like a 72 hour shift is the hateful drive. Oh, just yeah. the whole way down, just like. <laughs> I remember it. I remember it well. Uh, 72? Did you ever do 72? Aye. Whew. That's tight. You just get up the next day and you know there's still two days left. Oh, because the way it's the way it happens, this job we used to do, you start at 12. Aye. So the first day sort of goes quick. You start at 12. They're all the way to their bed, say at about 10. Aye. You can go to Before bed. Before you know it, the day's Aye. over like. Next day you're about half six. <laughs> <laughs> it's six hours before it even gets to 12 yeah, you know what I mean you're like, uh, and then you know you have two more full 24 hours you're 48 fucking oh tight oh just you that was shade about 7 in the morning and then so. you're going straight on the work again after the 40, the 72 yeah, hours that's right I used to go through your man just straight on the work so going somewhere making people laugh for 15 minutes yeah that's good so, you know but 15 what, minutes just playing for 15 minutes 15 away. 20 minutes eh? well if you can get away sometimes if you're opening like there's the one I did Paddy asked me the last minute to do my hair felt and the show started at 8 I left the house at 5 to 7 got up did 20 minutes called Paddy on and left so it was home about 10 something like that seven, about 3 hours all together decent dough do you get the dough there and then? no most people never get paid. Uh, I do it for voluntary. <laughs> Me too. I yeah, but it's, it's, there's, there's a definitely. See what happens, right? People see me now and they go, "Fucking hell, man, you are flat out." Like that one in our man was just diesel money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hangover, no mic, diesel money. Aye. Uh, but then the crowd were that good that it made it worthwhile. Then. Right. Okay. Ah, oh, so it was a good gig. Oh, it was a good gig. All right. Okay. Just too many things were saying this is going to be bad. Right, okay. But no other comedian complained about no mic either. And I was like, fuck, I need it. That's sort of like my comfort blanket. <laughs> you hide behind it. Aye. But I do use it up and down in all different ways. But people think, always say to me, Jesus, sir, you're flat out. Podcasts and stand up and the orange and new green noise. It's, it's just a look buzzer. I was fire buzzer before. Aye. When I was going to do a 40 hour shift, Aye. I didn't put in Facebook <laughs> photos of me going down to do a 40 hour shift. <laughs> Wiping shape. <laughs> Cleaning <an> arse. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody sees me with somebody up on a harness wiping their arse. <laughs> do you know, the struggle's real. <laughs> Monday again. <laughs> <laughs> This is my weekend, what's yours? So, <laughs> like butter and bread, then they're then. Nobody sees all that. Nobody sees, like, just some of the stuff that you had to do. But you don't talk about it. But you're away far longer. 
And, do you know, so... I'm still on that grind. That's what I'm saying. So the... Uh, you're, the only thing you're in Donegal. Aye. Well, fuck Dublin. Yeah. But I was in Dublin, like... <sighs> oh, you did it, though. You did it. I did it for, like, nine years. That's mad. And for half the money? Oh, aye. Five. 200 euro you got for a shift, I guess. Aye. But then, like, the fuck For 24 hours. But then the price of everything wasn't mental back then. It was just, there wasn't great money there. And do you know what? I only did one or two of them a month or two because I was disposable then. Money. Aye. And then you started needing it. Aye. Then you need to do another stuff. And then you have to need, then you need that. And then the money nearly doubled then, remember? Yeah. But still had to do an extra shift for some reason. It's just you could you could just work for it. I just get about sick and now that I make so much extra money, but it's not extra money anymore. Exactly, that's my point. Do you know what I mean? So it looks like I'm flat. I'm busy. Like see, right now up to about the end of May, I have like ten gigs a month already. So that's two a week. So if you need to lend that money, folks, no, I'm sure there'll be everybody thinks you're rich. You fucking no one. No. Just because, even when I was in the Strabanter days, people thought I was rich. Your daddy must be rich in the Strabanter. Never made one, but you're out, money. <laughs> I thought you were on about your Terry. <laughs> <laughs> my wins. My dad. No, my wins were always saying, people think you're rich. Oh, man, that's, the end of this month has been counting two peas. Ollie's right. got his, Ollie's fucking hair is like your man had a fucking, that iron cloth on, fucking Zac Efron, his hair is like a Here, sir, is it good? Good, eh? Uh, my dongle broke. And then the, I was watching. Were you watch- the Devon Israel? Ha 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 ha! Fucking, uh, I was watching one man, the Hopkins, that looks good. Do you know the uh, true story about the boy that saved all of the, uh, the Jewish wins? And it was looking good, so I took it out of the kitchen, they put it in the living room, and it wouldn't work. Uh, and I watched about 15, 20 minutes yet. I don't know what's wrong, I'm thinking, is it the TV? Or, or I think it's getting faulty. Just maybe it's just the lead, get a new lead or something. But I know I wanted to watch that Iron Claws or Closet. I was checking to see, and then it was on the day, and I went, oh, "Yes, man." Do you know the you know the story? Fuck, I'm not telling anybody, but man. Ah, but you don't have to tell the, the movie. You can tell the story, can you? Aye, but it's just, you can't really without. There's twists that you didn't know. There's not. Well, it's not twists. It's just man. It's just the epitome of when. Uh, the truth is fucking stranger than fiction, like. Aye. And he left stuff out. He had he left. He left. He left some of the truth out. And I was reading up about it, fucking deep dive. And the, the director was like, "I had to leave this major bit out because nobody believed it. Nobody believed it. <laughs> true, like. And what was it? What did he leave out then? Uh, one of the brawlers. There's an R brawler. Right. So are they madmen or what? What's the, the justice of wrestling or is it about it's wrestling? Aye, and they're all pushed by their dad to be the best in the fucking. He fought Ric Flair and all. Are they WWE? Uh, they had their own promotion, and then they went to WWF. The boy Kerry yeah. fought WWF. He fought Ric Flair. Right. So they never met at big in the wrestling. Oh, they're big. Uh, they were. They were world champions. One died there or something. Well, that's <laughs> right. Do you want to tell me? So we get man, spoiled for I, them too. And as I was reading on Wikipedia, I was like, "Who the fuck's Chris? What would you wrestling fucking pan face? The nose. The nose. <laughs> <laughs> and then my special move would be." <laughs> Somebody wrote that on the. There was a wee clip Connor Keys put out about your nose. Uh, Says, Aye, we know I got that. Lately. Everybody said to me, you should, well, it should have been. Uh, the sniff. <laughs> you can smell sounds or something. Whatever he said, the opposite was a better one. So people were telling him, Connor's joke was not good. You can smell sounds. Aye. You can hear it with your nose. Aye. What would yours be? The face? Big Daddy. Do you remember Big Daddy, Jed Haystacks? Yeah. That was the time there, man. That was yeah. the fucking best. Andre the Giants. Andre. Hey, he was different. He was WWF. Yeah. Monster. Who was local? Eh? What do you mean? There used to be a local promotion. You used to have a couple of... We had, there, there's a couple of boys from MoMA do it. Aye, but the, back it? in the day... You know what I was thinking about the last day? Do you mind your man, Stephen Dennis, came to the Melman Centre? Who's he? He was... Fucking what? Somebody out of neighbours. Oh, Man, and it was, I was like, standing outside. It sure. was like the Beatles. They passed in the car with sunglasses and did that. Aye. Bastard. <laughs> and it's just. And then I, do you remember back when neighbours, everybody in neighbours released songs? Yeah. And then he released one, then it was shit. But everybody loved it. 
Man, he was like he was on it for ages too, wasn't he? Like curly hair sort of boy. Uh, who was he? Yeah, I um, had some. What part of the dude? Des Bishop. <laughs> was that right? Uh, you may be right. Uh, Fuck. Who was he? Paul Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> We're close. <laughs> there was a Des Bishop, wasn't there? Aye. Was he Paul on the show? Aye, Paul. Aye. Do you, were you there too then? Aye, man. Man, it was like the Beatles. Like it was like. It was, well, you think about it. The Troubles, it is. Nobody came here, like. No. So that was just like somebody seen on TV. TV was more, was a bigger thing when we were growing up too. Like young people don't watch TV you now. It's like a, a thing that's old fashioned. You know, you don't hear many young people on TV. Like, they just go straight to YouTube. Aye. Even YouTube would be ahead of Netflix sometimes, I think. They do watch Netflix as well, but they never watch normal TV. No. What's even on normal TV? It's going to die out, doesn't it? Soaps. Arlo watches these tenders. Does she? Aye. Still people watch that. Do you know them all? Well, there was a boy in there. We were living in London, and he used to watch. Air. He never went out. He hated my guts. I fucking slept on I like him. I jumped in the bed beside him one night drunk. I like him already. <laughs> he woke up and I was beside him. It sounds sound. <laughs> <laughs> hated me. But he used to watch everything from, I think the first one was Brookside. There's a Brookside, right? Let me try and get this right. Brookside, then Neighbours, and then Home and Away, and then Emmerdale, and then EastEnders, and then, what was it, Carnation Street? Mm-hmm. He watched every one, and he was just like, he was like best friends with every character, the way he was going on and all. Just, Come on, you're just sitting there watching the fucking... When they came on the TV? Oh, I, when he was watching the show, he was really invested in the drama. You know what oh I mean? And that was all. He was just like, fucking... What a, the, probably the only thing I watched was... What was the fucking young people one? Biker Groove? No. Used to be on every day, six o'clock. Hollyoaks. There, that's the one I must. What did I say? You started with Brookside. Brookside. Emmerdale is another Emmerdale. one. Emmerdale. Shit. But see the thing about it, you, you mightn't have to watch it for 10 years. Two weeks you're back on, knowing everything that's going on. That's the way soaps are, like. They, they hook you straight away. Wee cliffhangers and all. Never hooked me. I wasn't a big fan either. Like, East Enders was just depressing the whole time. It's always fucking depressing. Oh, I would have watched about a neighbour. Home and away? Back in the day. Neighbours. I like neighbours. Kelly Minogue. She was on it. Jason Donovan. Jason Donovan. They call the other boy. Hey, Mona. Craig. <laughs> There's a fucking whole lot of them. Three songs. Craig McLaughlin, was it? Hmm. Dave cleaned up in England. What do you call a Hollywood actor, was it? Oh, hey, he's massive. Mike. Mike, he was called in the show. Pierce. Pierce. Uh, Pier- Pierce, somebody. He's like a Hollywood star now. Yeah. He was an Iron Man. Iron Man 3, the shape man. Oh, yeah. Uh, I always uh, remember him from Memento. Do you remember that? Never watched it. Great show. Good, is it? Class. Uh, on his right and everything around his body. Tool. You got a dagger. <laughs> what are you looking at? You getting another ticket, son? So I three on the go at the moment. I think I'm getting away with one. I've paid one. And now I have to think of a... Again today, I fucking run up a back street, seen a free parking space, like, yeah, and, and uh, there was this guy, like, wearing a council fucking fleece, and I could see him smiling away, and I was like, oh, Jesus, am I not allowed to park here or something? And I got out of the car, and it was all, uh, free parking space today, and I was like, aye. Anyway, oh, is it like the one, a space for the day? Aye. Well, oh, oh, they're the best. <laughs> and he was like, uh, uh, no broken hand or anything? Oh, I listen to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, it happens all the time. It happens uh, all the time. Steam room. But see, even when you get a free parking space, I'd be sitting on my computer going, uh, oh. Why don't you just go around and park in the, the car park? They're full. I always get up when I go up to use. Uh, but like the last couple of times, I can't get in. Or the top of the hill where the school is? No, but see, all them ones, they're all fucking. That's right, yep. I to park up there. Disaster. Are you on about the car park right round in front of Henry J's or Big John's or something? Ah, full. 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 Okay. Need more car parks, then. 
And you've got and just another ticket the other day. I was just going, this is re- relentless. Relentless. It's actually depressing. Like. <laughs> Especially when you're scant. Uh, big time fucking scant. So have you, have you pay, I haven't heard anything back from mine. It's way long. Like. It is way long, you know. Maybe they sent me on because I get that many emails, man. Well, do you know, like, if they... <laughs> no, it's a letter to your house. Oh, is it? Uh, oh, happy days. No, on yet. No, I've got mine after you, and I've got my letter back already. Maybe it's fucking lifted and put under the press and not... Would the letter say pay up or you're getting off it? Uh, it'll say pay up, or with it, if it doesn't pay within this date, you have to, it'll double the night, eh? Uh. <laughs> Fuck. Do you remember the last it's definitely time? too long. It was on the day. Uh. I wait now. Like, I have one uh, tomorrow. I have to go on and make up an excuse, but that'll give me at least another couple of weeks. Oh, you're buying time just? Aye. Uh. I must check. We never don't think there's anything, anyway. One of them letters with the windows on. See, they have no. there the ones I don't even look at. Oh, I mean, anything we build on it. Or no, well, yeah, that's I got one today, and like I got mine way after yours. You should have had something back. Mine was over. Mine was in December. Oh fuck you! You're fucked. Wait, but you might have got away with it. So I hope I did. You're just going to let. It's going to be like your Viagos thing. I need to look for it now. Maybe I haven't sent it yet. Maybe they're having a big meeting about it. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like it's in the press somewhere. Cause I, the stuff I You're going to get arrested <laughs> by the police. Going to jail. That's a fucking beautiful thing in there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Hey, I was actually... Something just came into my head. I know I told this fucking story the last day, but uh, I just had a flashback to the day that... Do you remember the story about the time I nearly got fucking lifted in uh, the Strand Mullis part of Bell down by Lavery's, just up from Lavery's. We were all out, we were all down one day, a whole group of lads, and we were all down drinking in Belfast. It was day drinking. I know there's a part of day drinking during the day you're, you're very hmm. raucous and boisterous and lads being lads. So we were moving from a bar to a bar, and we were all there's a whole group of us walking down the street. I mean, I'm the centre because boys had to get fags and things. So we're all in the shop, no banging on each other, and no like knocking, being cunts. <clears throat> knocking things over. And I remember one of the boys picked up like a wee packet of chewing gum and threw it at me, and I was like, "Whoa!" So I lifted an apple. <laughs> now in the shop, there was like a Nigerian bodyguard, big fucking guy, when he was down the back, and obviously he was like watching all of us. And I remember Walkie going over by the door, starting to run. So I just lifted the apple. Like, you wouldn't. That's Like, you're not going to lift an apple because even if it had a wave, it was going to fucking hurt. Aye. I launched this fucking apple. He ducks. It goes out the door. Hits a squad car. A passing squad car on the side of the door. <laughs> the Nigerian boy starts roaring at me and I just, in a blind panic, I start to walk fast out of the shop because I realise I've had the right. fucking cops. So I think I'm going to walk out of the shop fast, down to the left and get away. So there was a homeless boy outside collecting money where we fucking, where we cop. Did you kick his cup over to you? Kicked the cup everywhere. Just, I mean, changed everywhere. Hunt. And I went to run away and I was like, nah, you can't. What'd you do? I went back and the cops, the cops like fucking came over to me and put me up against the wall and made me pick up all your man's change. Right. Made me give him twenty pound, and the big Nigerian boy was like, "And he stole it from the shop." And all. I was like, "That's not a Nigerian accent." He <laughs> was like, "He stole from the shop," and all. And I was like, "Like, what are you down here?" And I was like, "I said I was at college in Belfast, and I made up the name of the." He was like, "Could we have the name of your dean because we're going to have to report you to the college?" Shut now. up! <laughs> I made up a name. I wonder if somebody's called that name you made up. Got through to college. All <laughs> <laughs> Do you know we did that the Nailbly? Whenever to do it, what we were in the same class in uni. And they sent round, you had to write your name in for attendance. And when I got round to me, I used to scribble his name out. <laughs> and you can get fucked out. And nearly got put out. They pulled the... And I, he never missed a class. And at the end, then, I don't think to him in the lecture got on too well. He says, now listen, you might have to do this semester again. Why? Well, you've been missed about 40% or 50% of the classes. He goes, no, I haven't. He says, well, look. And then he, they proved the scribbled out was a nail. <laughs> They had to go back and look at them. Aye, because they proved that he and was. You never got in trouble. He didn't tout me. I had a tout it. You would have tout it straight away to get the two in trouble. Cameras, I would only see cameras. And Cagney and Lacey. I mean, do it together. 
<laughs> I don't know if it, I haven't told this yarn on <clears throat> on a good while, but one of the scariest interactions I had with cops, and it wasn't even well bad. It was just the time whenever we were up in Ulster uh, Rugby Club. No, we were in Ulster Rugby Club, and I was. <laughs> I don't know when I said it. Maybe I did, but I'll tell it again. Because that was a fucking cracker. Like, that was the most stre- wild stressful like for me. But when I got there, we were doing like a, with the buckets outside. The collection, aye. The charity thing for the place we work with. So I was like acting dumb. I, w- I drove under the housing estate across from Ulster Rugby in Belfast. And it says residents only everywhere. No, I just didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> residents only, residents only. I don't see it. I don't speak. Do you see that, that Stevie Wonder clip where your woman takes the mic and he walks away and he's, he's talking to the mic and she's already away? Has <laughs> been. <laughs> so I parked outside this house and went under the thing. It was actually snowing. It was one of them freezing days and we were doing me, uh, Cousin Emmett and Blee. And we were all in there. And halfway through the first half, we got through the intercom. Could driver of <laughs> and I'm not dopey. The plea had to go, Hey, sir, that's your number. Please, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one that's surprised. <laughs> I was just lost. I didn't, I didn't even take it on. And then he goes, that's your. I says, Fuck up, Lee. I'm telling you, man, that's yours. And I went, Fuck. Now I got to even shake it. I was like, Oh, because you're no. I says, How in the minimum blue saddle? Red. I says, We're in the rest of the thing. That's right. But I actually fucking parked in front of somebody trying to get out. So they had to ring the, the what do you call it? You have a habit of doing that? They had to ring the, the stadium. Stadium men had to read out my number plate. And then I had to go, okay. <laughs> so I said, me and Blake, I says, I'm not coming back. I was, I was our get out of uh, watching a freeze. I was like freezing, like uh-huh. rugby match. 20 minutes on, you're used to it now. So I'll do me. <laughs> what I mean, uh-huh. I've seen enough, like. Uh-huh. Outside, cross the road, apologized to the doll, fucking, and the cop was there. The cops and everything were there, like, and I did the whole lesson. I didn't realize you weren't allowed to park here, no one. He was in there's a sign there, mister. And I said, Oh, <laughs> Jesus, did you notice that? And, and Blee was beside me, and the wee cousin was in the back seat. And I wanted to get out of there quick, but it was f- because of the weather, when this all steamed up, <laughs> you know, and Blee's big face got in. <laughs> <laughs> that was jazz. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just like a boiling kill. <laughs> just straight steamed up. So it doesn't bleed's fault. I said uh, the hers best. So what happened was I was facing that way. The cop then was like ended up being dead on. Listen, you could have got fined here, but I'll let you go this time. And I was like, Thanks, man. No. Definitely thought I was getting fined. I actually used the uh, charity to get out of it. charity? I am a, la, la. I'm Bob Gilda. I <laughs> for you know, Rogue young Gilda. people, young people. And they were like, right, you were there for a good thing. You don't know. I says, I'm never up here, never watched rugby. I don't know anything about it. So that was what got me my way out of it. Yeah. Like like uh, the time we got stopped, remember the cops? That's right. Same you sort of. tell that story? I don't know. Same sort of idea. Like me wear it. <laughs> but um, so, started the car and couldn't really see you at the back uh, window. And then started reversing, just heard the... <laughs> and I felt it too. And I mean, the blood left my face. And I just, and at the same time, I just looked out and I seen the fucking cop. I knocked him over off his bike and I fucking went sliding down the hill. And I said, they bleed. The boy that let you away? The boy that was dead on to me, I knocked him off his bike. Because he was right behind me, and I didn't, I thought he was away. <laughs> and I couldn't see out the back window, so I reversed. They get out, they get out, and saying, oh, sorry, love. No, I don't want to keep it any longer than the shoot. <laughs> Boom. Seen, because he's wearing high vis. Boy, just, <laughs> seen him disappearing. Heard about a crunch from going on the bike. But no. <laughs> I turned, and I says, bleed. Hop around. Bleed. I just knocked the cop off his bike. What are you talking about, sir? I'm fucking telling you, man. <laughs> then I started shaking. I'm not. Nah. No. <laughs> Men are fucking ancestors. <laughs> started going, I'm going to jail for life. <laughs> I'm going to be ripped to jail. <laughs> man. I got out then. He was a tall drink of water. Oh, I thought this is a tie. And they made such a thing of it. Like they white taped it. <laughs> 
I'm standing there with a white t-shirt. Don't like CSI. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. And, I'm every, and the cops are getting on to me. And I am. Um, he was saying I was all right. He was more embarrassed. I says, you all right, man? I'm grand. All covered in muck and all. And then next minute, the sergeant came. He disappeared. And he says, our officers injured to his. I was like, oh, come on, boys. It wasn't. It's just embarrassing. You know what I mean? Aye. Then they're looking at the bike and saying, oh, the damage you did. But there was a couple of cracks probably there forever. And I was just thinking, what's going to happen? Because I didn't know. Am I going to get fucking done for fucking killing a cop? <laughs> running over a cop? And... Oh, I was going to make a joke here now. Jesus, man. And I was like, out, you and your dad? For ages. And, and see, every time I looked in the car, there's Billy and Emmett. <laughs> the car was nearly shaking when I'm comes laughing. <laughs> and I'm out there shaking, white right, shaking. Oh, I wouldn't have been in the car laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they took their information to the boys, but then they kept them in the car, and I was fucking, and they were loving it, and I was, even, at the cab was like, I would say two, two hours or something, going through everything that happened. So I'd have been standing between these, going, lock him up, lock him up, <laughs> throw away the key, he, so killed know. he nearly killed him, uh, reckless, just, just, uh, I think he's drinking too, you know. See me looking at the mirror then, hey, fucking. He had a couple I, of pints in the rugby, you know that? I run over a cop. Like I'm going to jail straight away, like, and then I was just like, <laughs> what am I going to do to get out of this and all? And then I was like, I can't do anything. And then they let me go eventually, but they says that, like, a guy from the insurance came out to meet me, sat down and talked about what happened. And then the cop all of a sudden was really bad injured. He was off for two months. Oh, and he was owed money. And apparently the cops were the most claim conscious. Sore neck. Out there. Ah, everything was sore then. And, you know, uh, he had a stitch. Uh, <laughs> fucking everything was sore. But I was like, the whole way home, even Billy gave me a stick and all, and I wanted to batter him. <laughs> and I was still scared. No way home, I was just still shook. Because I thought, knocking a cop off a bike, you're, that's not, this isn't good. Why was he parked behind your bike? You okay? care? I don't know. Because that's where he was sitting when I landed. And do you know when I was a wee bit back, like, just at the end of the thing? And I think he was going, stop, 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 <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> Looking out at the same time, seeing the boy disappear. Knowing exactly what happened, Bleed didn't have a clue until I said, man, I just knocked a cop off. <laughs> How did Bleed not hear it? He's eating her son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got me that day. Anyway, the, the car was nearly doing that, man. From oh, that I would have been unbearable. I'm just standing there. Just I would have been unbearable. Being wild. You would have me, Yank. Uh, being over nice. You know, fuck. Oh, it was tight. Oh, you know, okay. you laugh about your fight or flight or flight, and you're like, <laughs> nags. Oh, you don't know what's going to happen to you. Like, there was another one I was going to tell you about too. What was the, you were saying about near the end of your hand? How did you get off it? Did this sort of light? Uh, that's what I was going to say. We were in Germany one time, and we were doing that. Uh, what was it? We we're like a youth exchange thing. And one of the boys along with us did a piss in the stage. Ah, youth exchange. Imagine you exchanged a, a, one of your children and got a boil back. <laughs> Imagine game. the swap was a boil. Yeah. And you didn't know. <laughs> sure, did you see there's a, a pontons, is it? Or, is it pontons? It's like buttons only. Aye. If you're a boy, you're not allowed to. There's a list of names that they will turn you away if you're one of these names and boils one of them. No way. The Chronicle rang me today and says, have you anything to say about it? I said, well, fuck. I wouldn't <laughs> fucking let the boys say <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, can we Sorry, can, can we get a word from Niall? Can we get a statement from Niall? <laughs> Big John Morris, he runs the fucking Cracker Hotel. I always use it in Belfast. And I said to him, have you any rooms? Hey, what's Crack? Who's staying? I says, me, Terry, uh, Kieran, and my dad. Hey, we're booked out. <laughs> I'd say he walked around the living room a couple of times going, oh man, how do you get out of this? Booked up, this is good. Because any time it's me and Arlo, just me, it's no uh, boss. It's free, yeah. It's just like, oh. You know, and what know. about the exchange? What? He says you were a German exchange thing? Uh, a German exchange, and Danny, the Lamas, did a piss in the underground, and the oh. cops caught him, and they met him cleaning up with hankies, or toilet roll. So he's walking past us with a drop. That's dropping it and putting it in the bun. Mm-hmm. And I had it until it was cleared up, and you seen the two cops just smiling, watching them do it the whole time. Uh, well, that's that's nearly exactly me. Crawling You're about my hands. Change. Crawling about my hands. Well, imagine feet. soaking up piss with a fucking bog roll. And I think I only had like 30 Drinking pounds. piss too, you look know, a beer piss. Uh, <laughs> man, I only think I had about £30 because I was a student. I think they made me give 20 to the. Shut up. Uh, I think the boys had to buy me drinks, Sam. What age are you? 22, 23. You're in just that mood. I just can't mode it. And I just, uh, but man, that, but that was just like a, a fucking 
like everything going wrong at this like Apple <laughs> Hamdukan, Apple going out the window, hitting a cop car, Nigerian bouncer chasing me, kicking the chains. It was like, man, you couldn't write it. It's like a fucking Laurel Hardy fucking. What do you call that movie where they're all the, the con men, they're, they're all working in the office, fucking. Glen take, Guy Ross or something, was it? No, they just take drugs constantly. Uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Wolf of Wall Street. You know the part where he goes home? He thinks he just did a nice drive home. <laughs> and it shows you the reality. <laughs> <laughs> There's times I'd wake up and go, Did you see you last night, sir? What? Well, wasn't that bad? Right. And then you just get wee reminders and wee flashbacks. And just, oh. Don't tell me. <laughs> uh, people love telling you to. You, had, you sent me an Arnold Golf membership? Aye. Do you know that you have to be a member to be in the golf club? Nah, no, you don't. Not since the base a restaurant. Right. Well, see, about two years ago we were. Ah, uh, you did that. You had to be a member. You had to be a member. So we run and we had a big meal, fucking eating, <laughs> and then after we started drinking, and then the guy behind the bar goes roaming, gone following that farm there. Why? I says there's people complaining asking are you a member, <laughs> and the golf club. <laughs> the golf. Do you know how much it is for the year's membership? Twenty pound. Aye. Still is. 25 now. He says, fill that on there, man. I don't know. Fuck, I think you can get your cash and then I can show it and all that crack and all. Yeah. I says, aye, but I was drinking vodka too. So every time I was in the bog, everybody pitching beside me was the cunt. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about members? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, what do you think? Do you think, do you think you need a membership? <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Try and get round everybody, know what I mean? <laughs> Follow every who in the toilet. Stand and push them the woman's toilet. How members are you? What about them. this membership in the back? <laughs> you hearing about it? <laughs> so there was, but you know what I mean? I was drunk and then, like somebody went up to say, uh, I don't think he's a member. And then you're thinking, who was it? Uh, no one was And then there. you wonder, like, mm. there's probably a list of names in the golf club and boys one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Pontons. <laughs> <laughs> Did you check the last bar? Well, there, was a, there was a bar in America had Terry Boyd and family barred for life on the wall. <laughs> on the wall. Stayed up. <laughs> Too many coincidences. <laughs> <laughs> Why me? Oh, I must look up that Pontons thing then. What do you see? I, 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 did, I said I'll get back to me a better one, but... Uh, barred for life, boys. Any, anybody with the, the cert... What do you see? Spelled... <laughs> P O N T I O I N, I think, Pontons. Pontons, right. Names. Names. Band names. Boyle, Kearney, Carr, Cash, Connors, Corcoran, Delaney. So it's all, they think this is traveller names. So anybody with these names. So the full list of Irish surnames on Pontons' blacklist. Let's go. So it just says uh, the blacklist has been released and the company is found to have engaged in a shocking overt race discrimination. Instructed, so Pontons was found to have stru- instructed staff to decline or cancel bookings made by people suspected of being Irish travellers by referring to the list of banned surnames. It comes after Whistleblower originally revealed that the discriminatory practice having shared the list of uh, So it was like a hidden... So boil them, boil... <laughs> Kearney, Carr, Cash, Connors, Corcoran, Delaney, Doherty, fucking some of the Doherty's, fuck, Dorn, Gallagher, Massive, Horan, Keith, Kell, Leahy, Lee, McLaughlin, and uh, just goes on then, McMahon, O'Brien, O'Connell, O'Donnell, it's like just all Irish names, Stokes, Ward, McDonald, you raised fucking <laughs> giggle there, O'Donoghue, uh, Mahoney, so Cook definitely get on. Pretty. That's it. So anybody with names to get to if the boys aren't allowed. Good move. Good fucking move. Would you want to go anyway? Fuck Pontons. Spotlands is far better. Up the red coats. Fuck the blue coats. We went the buttons years ago. Did you ever go? No. It seems like something I wouldn't like. Never tried it. Doesn't read on it, but just don't. <clears throat> no, I know it's some fucking... We, there's, so you stay in these chalets and then, and then you go out for events in the evening. No, there's like a, a fun park, roller coasters, all that. And then in the evenings, there's like we watch the crankies nearly every night. I think there was a part where his wig fell off. They reveal it was really his wife. Every night, first night, I was like, "Holy fuck, you dropped your wig!" Oh, they were there live. Uh, the crankies uh, show. 
And then there was a part because <coughs> they're my husband and wife, Crankies, but he yeah. plays. She's the schoolboy, and he's. Yeah. So during the, the first time we watched it, his wig accidentally fell off, and he had the run over and handed it back there, and she did the face and put it back on. And everybody cheered, and then they did it seven nights in a row. <laughs> I was like, how could I keep falling off every night? That's how dope I was. <laughs> I didn't even realise they were doing it as a bit. <laughs> Every night, that f- I w- surely you can get some double sided tape or something. And now you know you did in the Orange is the New, uh, right? Uh, the all them no like. Uh, well, what about the, the, the somebody looking their money back because they're offended? I know why. That was good. Where was that? And uh, I don't want to say the place, but sure, it's good for ratings. Yeah. You may get offended. There's a time when I was feeding people carrots. Uh, that's the least offensive thing. Like. <laughs> when you see the Devonish. <laughs> you, look at, you look at the Devonish, you're getting a willy in the ear. You know what I mean? I give them out by a carrot and tell somebody to debate it. Fucking see the people I get debated to, it's usually somebody I know. Or yeah. somebody that's, you know, up for it, you'd know. Uh, no, but... Uh, the Devonish was getting slapped in the face. like We real cocks. Uh-huh. I'm the out by a carrot. I'm going to, and I'm just Wear nags of, all? I'm not, I'm not fully dressed now, sure. Oh, you do, eh? I don't even get the nags. I'm naked on stage for a wee while. Right. To do a wee dance, but... I don't not claim. even naked. No, I'm wearing nags. Like Union Jackers. And I'm through the crowd's good crack. Mm. There's Paul Curry, just madness. But on the, we don't, it's fully dressed now. So I could see you go to them villages, man. There's always somebody going to be offended by someone. Oh, somebody that. else told me they love the whole show except for that, but I'm climbing over people and me. Because I used to do it in the pants. You're yeah. getting the bag in the top of the head or something. Tea bag and I. Mm. Orange is the new. Getting too old for it. Orange is the new Devonish. I got no man. I was climbing up the side of the place too. You know the people in the balconies? You ain't got yourself. Climbed the whole way up the balcony. And you fell. Oh. Some claim. And it was some old doll. Do you know what I mean? We fucking. Mobility issues. I'm up there. Scared the fuck out of life. <laughs> She's like, God, the reason I went up here is he fucking. <laughs> she just got out of the wheelchair and walked you away. You forget how intimidating here because people just start doing this. And I'm thinking they're not enjoying themselves, but they just go on, fucking leave me alone, please. I oh, know. No. Keep the Even attention. Even like that, I was watching that, I didn't want you to spot me either. Uh, like, I remember watching the pantos years ago and Big Bernard. You were just head, weighing on your knee. Do you know what I mean? You didn't want them to knee. Last time I was in, they got me up on stage and everything. They say, oh, they put two things, no, exercise bike and a jumper on stage. So it was ringing in no time, you know what I mean? <laughs> if I stopped pedaling, the lights went down. <laughs> well, obviously some fucker backstage. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was giving a little bit of welly at the start. I was lighting up well. I was like, fuck, is this me? <laughs> That's so way, strong. Well, the switch just stupid. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. So I did a little selfie and uh, fucking. But I. We've learned that rolling stupid. Mm. Well, smart at some things and well, dope at other things. Like, could Ronan Boyle come to reception? You're just down there. <laughs> could Ronan Boyle come to reception? You're just down there. Please, please, like, I think that's your name. Huh? <laughs> I'll tell you, I was meeting a social worker one time. <laughs> social I work- don't no name. Social workers are the way where uh, I meet you in Chantal, and I says, No bother. And she goes, What are you driving? And I just went, <laughs> And I says, A white car. She goes, I have a what mech? And I says, How long? And they run out. <laughs> Read me car that I had three years yeah. and run back in and say golf, Volkswagen, golf or something. <laughs> Volkswagen. <laughs> Volkswagen. A, a tour of golf. I would not, but I remember not. I remember being stopped by the cops one day and I was like, could you read out your, your thing? I was like, no. Could you, what, what, what? could you read out your license plate? And I was like, no, man, I don't know it. Huh. I'd say, do you not know it? My national insurance number's on there and that's it. Nothing else. Like, that's, that's true. It took me about three years to get our name written. Uh, Valentine's card. You see if it was a O R F H L A A T H like fucking Siri. What are you at? Just Arla. O R L A. Come on. Do you see if there was like a visual visual rep into the set? <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. Yeah. Visual representation of Boiler's fucking brain. It's just a big empty room. Just a bit of paper with a nice insurance number <laughs> lying in the middle of the room. Trouble. <laughs> because sometimes I forget it. It's like sometimes it blows away. Uh, what was that? No, it'd be more like the big rock candy mountain. <laughs> we never wash our socks. <laughs> and little drops of alcohol keep trickling down the rocks. And we'll hang the jerk that invented work in the big rock candy mountain. <laughs> oh, you remember that? That and angels? Remember? People just dancing through that. Angels. Eh? <laughs> right, let's get out of here. It's late That's at night. Old. We're at the hour there. I'm thirsty. Ladies and gentlemen, live pod, May the what? Do you not May know? the fourth birthday. <laughs> Do you know? No.
Hold on there, check. Yeah. We need to do a wee advertisement thing. Aye, I'll do it. I'll do a proper one. But wait until people get paid. The 30th of May. So the 30th of May, ladies and gentlemen, live podcast. It's going to be unbelievable. We've got Kieran Bartlett doing his one-hour special. Yeah. More or less. Got Jordan Robinson, and then we're going to have us boys on. We'll have some planned. I forgot to bring. I was going to bring down the whistles and the plastic or the elastic bands today, just for the crack. Anyway, we're going to. Uh, do you know the one where the game we're going to do that? And you, uh, well, it's all in the bag there. I found it. I said I was going to bring it down. They fucking do it and forgot to bring it. Anyway, we'll do that. We're going to be the podcast, and we're going to do Kel Rony like last year. Four comedians up against each other, but a competition, and it's going to be. Uh, and it's going to be a show, folks. So. A lot of people are saying, why is this a Thursday night? So it's going to be like a boiler room. You're not going to the boiler room for a rap. You're coming down to see a show. You're it's going, going to, to be theatre-style chairs this uh, time. Like, Kieran Bartlett's going to do, like, a nearly an hour of his proper show. Like, that alone is going to raise the roof. And he's then we're going the to the SSC arena. I think he's coming down to us before that. So it's uh, going to be great that you're going to have a... It's a few <coughs> drinks on a Thursday night, home Why early. laugh? Why laugh? I'm going to have a big gay wedding the next day, so... <laughs> no, we can't. I no, can't, can't go too mental at it. But, um... Tickets I, are out. I think it's right now, but there's no panic. But We're going to promote the now. whole of it now between now and May. So it's going to be good, Craig. Get on it. Right, that'll do us. Yep. Bye.